study tube. In our previous video, we have discussed about modulation and its need in communication system. Link is in the i button. In this video, I will explain all the types of modulation techniques briefly. Based on the nature of message signal, modulation can be classified into two categories like analog modulation and digital modulation. If the message signal is analog in nature, then it is called analog modulation. On the other hand, if the message signal is digital in nature, then it is called digital modulation. We also classified this analog modulation into two categories depending on the carrier signal. That is, if the carrier signal is continuous wave signal like sine or cosine wave, then it is known as continuous wave modulation. Similarly, when the carrier signal is a continuous pulse of finite frequency, then it is known as pulse wave modulation or pulse modulation. Now let us discuss about continuous wave modulation first. There are mainly three continuous wave modulation techniques present in communication system like AM amplitude modulation, FM frequency modulation and PM phase modulation. Now just briefly go through all of these modulation techniques. In case of amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier signal changes according to the message signal. Here you can see after modulation we get amplitude modulated signal where change of amplitude quite clearly visible. Similarly, in case of frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier signal changes according to the message signal. When the amplitude of the message signal will increase, the frequency of the modulated signal will also increase. And with decreasing of the amplitude of message signal, the frequency of the modulated signal also decrease. In case of phase modulation, phase of the carrier signal varies according to the message signal. Now let's talk about pulse modulation. There are four different modulation techniques are present in pulse modulation. First one is PCM, that is pulse code modulation. Next one is PWM, that is pulse width modulation. Third one is PAM, that is pulse amplitude modulation. And the fourth one is pulse position modulation. Now discuss all of these one by one. In pulse code modulation, actually analog signal is used to convert into digital signal. In PCM or pulse code modulation, first we need to do sampling to convert analog signal to discrete signal. So the message signal is sampled at a finite interval and that signal is quantized at a certain level. After quantization, signal should encoded by analog to digital converter. How this whole process of PCM can be done, we will discuss it in our upcoming videos. Now moving to the next modulation technique that is pulse width modulation. In PWM or pulse width modulation, the width of the modulated pulses varies in proportion with the amplitude of modulating signal. As observed from this waveform, the amplitude and the frequency of PWM wave remains constant. Only the width changes. The leading edges of PWM signals are always generated at fixed time instants. However, the occurrence of its trailing edges will be dependent on the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. Therefore, this PWM or pulse width modulated signal is said to be trail edge modulated signal. In pulse amplitude modulation, the width or the duration of the pulse will remain same. 
but the amplitude of the modulated signal will change according to the message signal. Next is pulse position modulation. In pulse position modulation or PPM, the width and amplitude will remain same, but position of the carrier pulse changes with the change in the message signal. So, based on the amplitude of the modulating signal, the position of the pulse of modulated signal placed. As the amplitude of the modulating signal increases, then this modulated pulse will move from the reference position. Now considering the digital modulation, broadly it has three parts like ASK, amplitude shift king, FSK, frequency shift king and PSK, phase shift king. There is one another technique that is QPSK, that is quadrature phase shift king. In all these digital modulation techniques, the message signal is in digital form. In amplitude shift king, where the amplitude of the modulated signal changes according to the digital bit streams. In frequency shift king, the frequency of the modulated signal changes according to the digital bit streams. Here the binary 1 is represented one frequency and binary 0 represented another frequency. Similarly, in PSK, or phase shift in the phase of the modulated signal changes according to the message signal. Now you can see in PCM whenever the amplitude of the modulating signal changes it reflects in our modulated signal. Like whenever the amplitude of modulating signal is 1 our modulated signal has one phase. But whenever the amplitude of modulating signal changes from 1 to 0, then our modulated signal also changes its phase. Now just quickly run through some differences between analog modulation and digital modulation. First point is, in case of analog modulation, modulating signal is analog in nature. In digital modulation, modulating signal is digital in nature. Second point is noise immunity is poor in case of analog modulation but the noise immunity is excellent in case of digital modulation. Third point is the bandwidth requirement for analog modulation is lower than the digital modulation. Due to higher bit rates, higher channel bandwidth is required for digital modulation. In fourth point, we can say coding is not possible for analog modulation, but in case of digital modulation, coding techniques can be used to detect and correct the errors. In fifth point, we can say in case of analog modulation, it is not possible to separate noise and signal, so repeaters cannot be used. In case of digital modulation, it is possible to separate noise and signal, so repeaters can be used. I hope in this video, you got a brief knowledge about all types of modulation. We will discuss all of them in details in our upcoming videos. If you have any question related to this topic, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, Press the like button and share with your friends. Stay safe, stay tuned.